Welcome in to PFF HQ. Austin Gale here with senior analyst Steve Palazzolo. We're going to Los Angeles to talk a little Chargers football. I want to start at the quarterback position. Phillip Rivers, a guy that's been around for a long time. He's always in that top half of the NFL. But last year, had a very good season. Ended up earning the fourth best single season passing grade of his career. Fifth best among qualifiers last year. A bit of a resurgence for him. What does that mean for this Chargers football team? Well, yeah, Rivers was fantastic last year. There's been points, just like there's been points in Drew Brees' career. Both of those guys where it's, you know, Know, they have some terrible passes where it's like, wait, is his arm? Is he losing his arm strength? Is he? Uh, is are the wheels about to fall off here? And Rivers has had a couple of those games throughout his career, but last year was a big resurgence. He does have enough arm. He still has the anticipation, uh, and he's so tough because he's been playing behind a bad offensive line for many years yeah. now, where the walls are just caving in from all angles. So uh, Rivers has been great. He did struggle a little bit at times down the stretch, but I think when you're the Chargers and you say, hey, we've got a, a top five to top 10 quarterback, you, you feel pretty good about that. So Rivers, uh, great season in 2018. And fortunately for him, you know, outside of the offensive line, he has a decent supporting cast on the receiving side. If Hunter Henry, Hunter Henry can get healthy, that's a big weapon for him. And then Mike Williams had a little bit of a breakout year last year. And, and of course, Keenan Allen, one of the best route runners in the NFL right now, takes advantage at the short and intermediate level, something that uh, Phillip Rivers does such a good job at. With that receiving core, you have to expect maybe Phillip Rivers to continue to have this little bit of a resurgence if the offensive line can protect him. Looking at the defensive side of the ball now, that's secondary played more dime than any other defense in the NFL last year. 50% of early down plays while the average was 10%. They love their they love their defensive backs, starting with Derwin James, Casey Hayward, you know, um, Desmond King, the Iowa, uh, Iowa corner in the slot. I think there's so much to like in that secondary. And then the add this year, Adderley. What are your expectations for the secondary and Gus Bradley scheme? Yeah, it's a fascinating scheme because, you know, they play a ton of just pure cover three, you know, three deep with uh, four underneath uh, coverage defenders. And, you know, they play it over and over, but they do it with more defensive backs. As mm -hmm. you said, they're trying to get smaller and defend the pass in this past first NFL. We loved the draft of the char that the Chargers had because they got the perfect free safety for their scheme in Nasir Adderley. Again, he's a, he's a rookie, so I don't know how much you want to bank on him uh, becoming a star right away. But when you talk about him at free safety, Derwin James, uh, just an all around star who is a perfect strong safety, you do have this great secondary where guys are fitting their roles properly. So Derwin was one of the best safeties in the NFL last year. Adderley fills that free safety spot. Casey Hayward's two years removed from being our top graded corner. And you mentioned Desmond King, one of the highest graded slot corners over the last couple years. So they're strong in the right places. They still have a good pass rush. Uh, love this Chargers defense and what they've done the last few years rebuilding. So much talent in the secondary in a great scheme that's being run really well. I'm, I'm really excited to see them moving forward. And they added to the pass rush in this year's draft with a Mike Renner favorite from Notre Dame, Jerry Tillery. He brings along the interior something special for them in addition to having Joey Bosa. That pass rush has to have a positive effect on that secondary this year. Yeah, they have uh, they went from having pretty much no talent on defense a couple years ago, but then Melvin Ingram, Joey Bosa, you start to add that edge rush talent. They were still weak though on the interior. That's where Jerry Tillery steps up. We had him as a top 10 caliber player. Uh, so, you know, six seven reminds a little bit of Chris Jones with his size mm -hmm. and burst off the line of scrimmage, and he just won at Notre Dame. He just beat blocks, got to the quarterback. Uh, so they're expecting a lot from him, rushing from the interior. It fills a weakness there, just like Adderley fills a key spot on the defense on the back end. So I think a strength got even stronger for the Chargers defensively with Tillery and Adderley in the draft. There's so much to like on both sides of the ball with the Chargers. It's unfortunate that they are in a division with Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. It's going to be tough to win that one, but don't be surprised if the Chargers do make a push in that division. For more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to Pro Football Focus's YouTube channel or go ahead and go to the site at pff.com.